Um, okay. Let's go do a little ranked. I'm going to start off with a game in Santander because I'm grinding this thing and I want to get some XP in it. I do, Nikolay. I do. Now, I'll say this. If you're playing Belfast in this season of ranked, you probably don't need it. But if you're playing Belfast in randoms, I think you do need it because you're going to be, on occasion, you're going to be up tiered and you're going to want the extra pen. Personal opinion. No, Chaser, you did fine. It's just irritating to me that that's even a thing. Okay, this is actually not bad matchmaking. Santander's AA is pretty solid. I just need to try and guess where the Fletcher's going to go and try to and try to outguess him. Um, it looks like he spawned mid. I don't have defensive fire, but my A is okay, and I'll get heals, etc., etc. And I'm relatively stealthy. The Br I outspot the Brindisi. Uh, um, I should outspot the Brindisi. Yeah, he's twelve over twelve. I'm ten and change. So yeah. So to start things off, let's try for C. Or do I want to back up the Minigumo here in mid? Um, I, let me back with the Minigumo in mid and we'll see what he does. Well, I feel like, I feel like his detection is a little high. 12-2 for Brenda C sounds a little high. He should be, maybe I'm wrong. I gotta go look at mine. I haven't played Brenda C in so long. I don't remember. Now sticking near mid in a light cruiser is probably not the smartest thing I could be doing. But I feel like I owe it to this destroyer to at least give him a leg, a, a attempt at a leg up here. Oh, Wix, you're talking about Belfast 43? Belfast 43 is solid. I would definitely take IFHE on Belfast 43. Like, you definitely want that. All right, we got a Ruprecht. I like it. A Mushy Mushy. Brenda C. Okay. So we don't know we don't know where their destroyer is, but we know the majority of their fleet is not going to A. Okay, and the Fletcher's over there too. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Now, I might could get cheeky on this Fletcher, but I'm betting the answer is no. I'm going to let the Georgia run. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn. This is a mistake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the carrier try to spot this Fletcher. Now, I'm going to be lit as I come around the corner here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know how aggressive he is right now. Yeah, he's 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 a, he's 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 a, he's a ways off here. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, he's in the cap. Minigumo's gonna grab B and then can grab go grab A for us. Let's hope he's uh, on the ball there. Now, if I can use my radar and planes to trap this Fletcher against the edge of the map, I'm going to feel pretty good about my life. While the Minigumo runs somewhere else, hopefully. There's an Iowa in mid. Y'all should do something about that guy, by the way. That guy's a problem. Is he turning in front of the Georgia? That seems dumb, but that's what he's doing. All right, we'll have fun, I guess. Oh, the Pomeran's right here. And I'm lit again. Isn't that interesting? I wonder how close this clown is. Oh, hi. How you doing, buddy?
Your SIP don't scare me, son. Go get him, Hornet. Are they murdering the Iowa? Yeah, but our George is getting his face smashed in some, somehow. Great, so the Iowa and the Georgia traded. That's actually perhaps not the worst thing in the world that could have happened. Still not figuring how I'm lit. Oh, I gotta break, I gotta break LOS with the Ruprecht. There we go, now I'm okay. Aww, Fletcher sat in smoke and died. Feels bad. I'm gonna take one of these. Oh well, crap happens. All right. So now I need to finish this cap and then get the hell out of here. Because I'm gonna have a mushy mushy driving up my butt in a minute and I don't care for this. We do have a ship lead. And nothing on the enemy team outspots me anymore. So let's get going. Well, the planes will outspot me. That will be unpleasant. I gotta get the hell out of here. Before the, before the Musashi decides to dev strike me. Yep, he's trying. All right, Ruprecht bought it. That feels pretty good. So now until they bring planes back, I'm in the clear. All right. It's my torpedo range, like 10 and a half. Hold that course. And then I am going to back off, I think. No, he turned. That's fine. Crap happens. I need to get behind cover. I'm about to get plane spotted again. Guy's just melting in my flak. His entire squadron bought it. <laughs> AA is worthless, ladies and gentlemen. Reddit told me so. It must be true. I don't even have defensive fire and I murdered that guy's planes. Like, murdered them all. Ugh. Our Santander's main battery dual purpose. I I don't remember, actually. We'll, go, we'll, we'll check when we get back to port. I legit don't recall. Palmer and buys it. Accuracy of these guns is really good. I mean, look at that shell grouping. Ooh, we got cheeked right there. Somebody cheeked him.
Just pitching in what I can. It's not much, but every little bit helps, I suppose. Now I'm starting to get some shells to bite in here. There we go. 7k. I'll take that. Let's go. Yep. Musashi cheeked him. All right. Brindisi may try to come back. Um, either way, we win in a couple of minutes. This feels pretty good. Cog is camped out behind cover. We won't get him. We won't catch him anytime soon. Okay. Thank you, Snow. I didn't remember off the top of my head. Damn, that's good bourbon. IFHE is a three-point skill for, I think, for battleships, but it's a four-point skill for cruisers. Whether you take it or not, I think, kind of largely depends on... Um, As Grunty's pointing out in chat, like what 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 tier bracket your matchmaking is, right? Because there are certain tiers of matchmaking that the IFHE can be very beneficial, but there are some tiers of matchmaking the IFHE is largely wasted. I will not pretend that I have sat down and crunched the numbers. Somebody probably smarter than me has. I um I might make a subject for a good video, right? Because I play enough cruiser, it's probably worth wrapping my brain around it once and for all. Yeah, I mean, Nicolay, the, the, the break point is tier 7. Below tier 7, Welcome. you get one level of bonus tier with IFHE. Nice. And above tier 7, you get a different level of bonus. I get it. Vic, with the follow, thank you very much. Welcome in. Let's see if our Minigumo gets dev struck here. Ooh, he got slapped. Four seconds. I don't think Brindisi's guns reload that quick. Womp womp. I really think Santander is a good boat in this format. You've got all the tools that, I mean, I mean, XP result seems to back that up, that assertion up. You've got all the tools you need to be effective in a match. You just have to not get dev struck, like any cruiser, right? And position the ship where she's going to be effective. Her AA definitely surprises me. The fact that I'm up against a Kaga helps because Kaga's planes melt like butter. And Santander's A is pretty solid. Like, there's a lot to like about a 6.9 AA range with the amount of flak this ship throws up. Now, I think we were talking in chat about her being dual purpose. Yes. Yeah, so these are these are this is a dual purpose main battery, which is why it goes out to 5.9, 6.9. Okay, she throws up less flak than I thought. But still, I like the ship in this format. I think she's perfectly good. I'm going to be I'm probably going to finish my Santander grind while playing ranked. Like I've had enough good games that even when I'm losing, I'm getting good XP results out of the ship. That's good enough for me.